Now, one of the things that I'm just going to digress about, just to give you an idea where these guys are, are coming from with this, and they talk, it's both in their job search hunting and both in the way that they market, they, they, that's their thing. They both share this thing. What do you see on most websites when you go to it? What's the one of the first things you see? On almost every page. About us. About us. And you see, their point is, Robert, you can see how this turns ahead. Robert says that's a cardinal sin. He says because that should be about three levels down. He said it should be about the person. Don't talk about yourself first. When you go to a networking event, everyone thinks, I gotta tell, tell my elevator speech right away, right away, right away. No, let the other person speak, then it's gonna come out about you. It's about you, not about me. Sure, there's a role for about us on the web page, but it needs to be about three levels down or somewhere else down. It can't be the first thing that people see. You got, just gotta have fun. I bought a car recently. There was a guy, the sales manager that was a very good experience. All right, and then I went to get the car fixed, or not fixed, but I mean, you know, just serviced. And I watched this guy go around, and he was great. He ran a great sales meeting. He had then, after he dismissed his team, he went around to the office. It was, you know, stepping in and helping others make their sales and stepping back. I went up to him and I said, you know, you're really good. I mean, I'm a sales dude, dude, you know, I really like it. And he said, he just turned to me. You know what his words were on a Saturday morning? He just looked at me and he said, you just got to have fun. Bingo. You got to have fun. And that's what, because with, 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 about marketing, you're going to find a million reasons why not to do it. A million reasons and all these things that you said are, are valid. All the people, the reasons that we had are valid. But guess what? We all know you got to do it. You should do marketing. So what's the way that you're going to do it? If you make it fun. So you got to find your way to make it fun. And I found mine. Here's a whole list of things. I just, I'm just i sure I've missed a couple of things that are out there. Ways, methods that you can market in general. Referrals. We love referrals. You can't be referrals. All right. Ka-ching. That's it. All right. But everything. Phone calls, networking events, mailings. Uh, emails, website, blogs, easy and social media. Now I'm going to start talking about my process. Every, every salesperson can tell you about their process. Val's got a different process than I've got, all right? This is my social media process and I'm going to show you how I tie everything that's in blue there, I work on and tie together. And I'll show you more of Again, just as you watch my little uh, demonstration I'm going to do here, Again, for me, getting them to the website is the goal. That's the, that's the goal, all right? And for me, the blog is the engine. That's my way of having fun. I love writing blogs, all right? That for me. I like Saturday morning when everyone, and getting my cup of coffee. I like going downstairs and writing a blog. I'll write, I'll start it off during the week, put it, make a draft of it, Finalize it then on Saturday. We'll talk in just a second about what do I write about. Um, but the blog, and so follow my process. I'm just giving you these sort of pointers here. So as you watch my process, you can see how it all sort of works together. All right, again, you, I'm not going to talk much about this because Mary's talked a lot all, already about search engine optimization. I trust you all are all familiar with it. But the, the keywords are obviously a way to drive traffic. The whole purpose is to search engine op optimization is to get your website so it appears near the top in a Google search, right? So, it, it, so it's findable. Um, the ones in red are things that my process help for my site. Overall traffic is a criteria. And notice I've got up there the bot or the spider. You've probably heard this before. Forgive me if I'm going back into ba basics here of web search, op search engine optimization. It's the, it's the reason why Google is making all the money, is because they've developed this bot that go, covers the whole, whole web, the whole internet, and determines your relevancy, where you, where you are, where your website is in the search, with these criteria. And, they, and the bot, or the spider, uh, these criteria are things that help your relevancy. And the four and the red are things that my process helped me with, all right? Overall traffic. A robust site. They like to see the, the bot likes to see a number of levels, not just one page. They like to see a complicated website. All right. Frequency of new content, real big. That's real big. These guys will tell you more than I did. 
that that is, that is a real determiner of relevancy. And then links from other sites as well. All right, a little history. I'm going to tell a little fa a fable here, OK? All right, imagining if you join, I've been with the company three and a half years. Imagining, imagine, you all know Val so well, and she didn't know I was going to pick on her here. But imagine, Val has been with the company, what, uh, 14, 15 years, right? Imagine walking in and being, joining the team and having to compete with that. Now, it's, you know, we're on the same team, but I, three and a half years ago, I walk in and I have to try to make some business with, with Val who has, you know, so I have to find a way. So, a little history here. Once upon a time, there was a new sales guy whose company had a website. All right, and that's our Video Labs website. And a very nice website it was, but the new sales guy needed to move fast and grow fast. I needed money, guys, okay? And so, what was I going to do? How was I going to make my presence and move fast, all right? All right? My initial thoughts were, make a low cost, and because I'd already been following, you know, Middleton and Nick Corcadillas, and I had this going, and, and Val will remember some of my early conversations. Well, you know, I'm thinking of doing something on the web or something with email, something like this. And, and i got to give credit, and not, I'm just, not just doing this for, for, for promotion, whatever, but, but uh, and Val will agree with this, that our CEO, Mike Weiss, is very open to the sales folks just trying new things. So I give him a lot of credit. Not every organization w w would uh, do this. Um, but I was thinking in my brain, well, you know, what if I did an email campaign that was sustainable, something that I could keep up with, right? And then I decided, well, you know, I got to give away something, some call to action. Um, Mary touched on that. Laura said, you got to give something away. Um, but how could it, but is it going to be information? Am I going to do a newsletter? Oh my word, I can't keep up with that. So I came up with the idea as I was doing a holiday a photo card for my family. Um, Humor and quirkiness. And this was uh, three years ago. This is my first email app. Talk about kitties. You like kittens? This is Mindy Mail. All right. <laughs> so that's our family cat. And I, and I just put this together. I mean, it was not very sophisticated at all. I took this, put it together. I actually pasted it into the uh, to my Outlook email. And I didn't have any links to it or anything. It didn't make it hyperlinked or anything. It wasn't that sophisticated. I had about 200 names that I already, you know, that I had, and I just hit send, and notice there is a call to action, you know, Mindy, mention Mindy and get 10% off your next order. You know, avoid a catastrophe, sleep well at night, be sure David Ryan handles your media replication and multimedia needs. Okay, I was just sending it to my client list, right? Okay, well, I start getting, I, I hit upon something. You know you hit upon something when you get the reception is calling back to say, Dave, there's a call on one, and they want to speak to Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> or, and I go into work, and they go, and, and I hit the, a replay, you know, a voicemail, and there's meow. <laughs> and I, yeah, okay, yeah. So uh, I said, oh, this is interesting. All right, well, let's try it again. So a few weeks later, I do the next one. All right? And so um, Mindy, you know, think outside the box. And there's Mindy there, same old, it says same old communications, ink in the box. And then I said, think outside the box, content, contact David Ryan for ideas and how to, anyway, yeah. Now then I also, of course, I did it in Spanish. Uh, I speak Spanish. And so I thought, well, we'll give that a shot too. And it, it was going, getting kind of crazy. I'd get, friends of mine would, would actually write back and, uh, I didn't, you know, they, they sort of, uh, uh, just, they, they, uh, what am I trying to say? They parodied the uh, email of, of one friend of mine and turned that into a litter box, but whatever, you know. 